Welcome to Artifact Explorations with the Kelsey Museum of Archaeology. Today, we're going to talk about the Coffin of Jehudimos. As we have seen, much of the material that we have from ancient Egypt comes from burial contexts, like this coffin, which belonged to a priest of Horus named Jehudimos. He lived during the 26th dynasty, which is also known as the Sayite period dating from 685 to 525 BCE, as is evident by his role of priest and his custom-made beautiful coffin. Jehudimos was of high status. What are some of the things that you notice about this coffin? We have all of the hieroglyphs, we have depictions of several gods and goddesses, and Jehudimos' face is green. We'll talk about each of those aspects shortly. This coffin represents important ideas and ideals in ancient Egyptian culture. The ancient Egyptians believed in an afterlife that mirrored their living life. They believed that after death, the deceased went on a journey through the underworld. And if they successfully completed the trials on their journey, they would join Osiris and live in the happy afterlife. The journey through the underworld was thought to be perilous, and therefore the person needed to prepare their physical body through mummification, and their ka, their life energy or physical double. Here we see depicted on the front of the coffin, the different gods that Jehudimos will meet and have to get past successfully in order to make it to the happy afterlife. We also see on the front of the coffin, a depiction of the mummification of Jehudimos. We see Anubis, god of embalming and guide through the underworld, with the mummy of Jehudimos. We can even see the canopic jars where his organs have been placed, as well as this bird figure, which is the representation of the Ba, or the part of Jehudimos that could leave his body and travel in the afterlife. Inside the coffin, we have representations of the goddesses Nut, goddess of the sky, and Imemtet, goddess of the west. Let's take a closer look at these images of the goddesses. Newt is standing in a pretty funny way, right? Her hair seems to be standing on end, kind of like Marge Simpson. Her arms are straight over her head, and she is looking right at us. Imentet is depicted more along the lines of the classical Egyptian styles, but with some important changes. Mainly, her arms are both outstretched to the sides, almost as if she is opening her arms to hug someone. So why are these goddesses depicted in these ways? Newt was imagined as the literal vault of heaven. Look at her dress, it is covered in stars. And this red disc represents the sun, which at night Newt swallows, and we see it passing through her until she gives birth to it in the morning. The Egyptians associated the West with death. The sun sets or dies in the West, and it was thought that the journey to the underworld began in the West. Along the Nile, we find that many cemeteries and other temples and funerary complexes are situated on the West Bank of the Nile, whereas cities and living arrangements are situated on the East side. Imentet, on the bottom of the coffin, is hugging Jehudimos from behind, while Newt covers his front. By placing these two goddesses in his coffin, Jehudimos has essentially created his own little world, helping to create the mirror world in which Jehudimos would live in his afterlife. The hieroglyphs in his coffin provide the texts and spells that Jehudimos would need to successfully complete his journey in the underworld. Now, a few things to note about this coffin. The first, it was a custom job, and we know that from a few different pieces of evidence. It looks like the coffin makers mismeasured Jehudimos and underestimated the amount that his body would shrink during the mummification process. So here we see at the shoulders and the feet that they actually had to chip out part of the coffin to make room for his body. We also see that the name of Jehudimos, shown here, fits perfectly into the flow of the text. We often find 
in what you might consider a floor model of coffins, that there was a space left for the name of the deceased person. Sometimes we see that their name doesn't fit properly. So there's too much space between the characters or they're all smushed together trying to fit their name into the space that was left behind. The coffin of Jehudimos is an important artifact to teach us about the ancient Egyptian views of the afterlife. We're still learning from it today. Thank you for joining us for today's artifact exploration as we explored the Jehudimos coffin. We hope you enjoyed it and join us again soon.